Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield. And last time we finished up the Crimson Fleet questline. Or, well, the main questline of it. We can still do little side jobs and whatnot. So, now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head to Saturn and see if we can find the supremacy because I want to know. So, let's get into it. Right, okay. Hello, Andreja. Let's go, let's go. And then we'll have a look. Once we've been to Saturn, we'll have a look at um, what else we can possibly do. I have been thinking about um, doing Sam's quest lines because we've done Sarah's, we've done Andreja's. We didn't really get a chance to do... Um... Oh, Lord. Against me? Oh, no. No, we didn't get a chance to do um, Barrett's quest line. So, because obviously he is um, dead. So, is the what are we what are we shooting at? Is there something here? Hello. I'm um, not really seeing what we're what's going on here. I mean, all right. It seems a little, a little odd, but Crimson Fleet Phantom. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Um, yeah, we didn't really get a chance to do Barrett's quest line, unfortunately, because he. Uh, Popped his clogs before we could. What? That's fine. We can um, we can do Sam's lot anyway. Ooh, crumbs. I, I went a little too far. Sorry. Uh, there we go. Yeah, why not? Free star Kiefer. 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 What does that say? Poor Ema? No. Datura. Didn't we? Didn't we? Did we do something with the Datura? Whoa! Oh. Uh, hmm. Well, it's kind of annoying that there's no um, there is no supremacy here. That's a little bit disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. Purely because I rather hoped to find it. But never mind. I suppose we. You can't tick every box. You can't tick every box. Okay, well. I looked! Let's have a look at what else we can do. Blast zone. Talk to Mr. Tate. The stretch? Where was the stretch? Aquila. Hmm. Maybe... Maybe we should go... Down to... Uh, oh, wait a minute. It's not this system. It's over here. It's Alpha Centauri. And we'll go to... Um, we'll go to New Atlantis and... Well, Jemison. And we'll speak to Sam. I suppose we should do his missions, shouldn't we? Then we've kind of got the whole set, apart from Barrett, which is, eh, well, I don't know. We don't know whether Barrett Security was real. here is so visible. I suppose it makes people more comfortable. Most people, anyway. Yeah, maybe. All right, Andreja, come on. As much as I don't really want to leave you behind and take this man and his child with me. I wonder what has happened while we have been away. Hey, uh, Walter. What's, what's Curious going on? Curious feeling, knowing that you've seen something that no one else has. That you know something no one else does. Alright, dude. Oh, that's a point. Speaking of Walter, I wonder, can we fly his ship yet? Uh, it was piloting, wasn't it? Ooh, I think we can. I think we can. That might be, um... Worth looking into. All right. Would be more useful to you aboard your ship than idling here, awaiting tasks. Why are you here, Vasco? Captain? Hello again. 
I was uncertain you would return. Well, let's assign I will you go wherever I am needed. Yeah, put him on the frontier. Why? What? What is that about? Should I assign it and can I only have two, two? Uh, we can't assign Andreja to anything. All right, well. All right, all right, Vasco, you you go to the ship, my my good friend, uh, and we'll speak to Samco, shall we? Speak with Samco. There you go, Samuel. Where are you, dude? Oh, God, you're up there. Of course you're up there. Right, okay, let's, um... If you want to talk, make it quick. In I fact, I've just thought... Andreja, come here. I know you have some things I'm in mind, my dear. You. Should you need me. A good team always shares their load. <sighs> All right. We let's... will speak again soon, I hope. Cleared out her inventory. I will... I'm up for a I little adventure. Empty mine soon. Okay. Freestyle Rangers. You did that dirty work and then some. Don't be judging. So how'd you feel wearing the badge? Eh. Uh, that's a loaded question. It kind of is. But yeah, I did enjoy the work. Okay. Well, good on you. It takes a certain type of person to thrive there. Me, I never cared much for being a ranger. Well, I should. Too many of them try to force the world to be only black and white when it's anything but. Well, all right. Take Ron Hope. I mean, the guy's a legend. Uh, Before him, Polvo was a desperate, depressing place. Everything he did was to keep his people employed, to keep Hope Tech standing in a backstabbing world of megacorp politics. Well, then he turned out to be a, you know, uh, yeah, I think it was all about power and greed with him, you know? I really hope you're wrong, which you probably aren't. Well, as soon as he's Tough dead. Tough calling what to do with Ron Hope. He's dead. Taking his hush money wouldn't have said right with me. Nope. But I wonder what's going to happen to Hope Town without him. Oh, they'll thrive, I'm sure. Um, yeah, people died. Mr. Hope has to face justice for what he did. I think Paxton Hall went out of control. But no doubt Ron Hope bears some responsibility. Oh, yeah. As much fun as it is being a ranger, I hope you can start focusing on constellation business. There's plenty of mysteries left in the good old Milky Way to discover. You are rather judgy, Samuel. So, so, what's you the You got time for a quick chat? I'd appreciate it when you're able. Well, spit it. Sorry, I plain forgot what I wanted to talk with you about. Oh. That girl. If Cora leaves her tools out one more time. Oh. I mean, I love her more than life itself, but I can only say the same damn thing so many times. Hmm. Uh, yeah, if she keeps doing it, it could be a real hazard. I know, I'm on it. Trust me, it won't get in the way when it counts. I gained self-doubt from that? I mean, God. this is between me and you, but Cora wasn't exactly planned. I don't know if I mentioned, but I served a spell in the Freestyle Rangers. Mm -hmm. Had a partner, Lillian Hartz. Oh, well. Well, we were like fire and ice, but uh, well, it wasn't all bad. Well, you got a kid out of it, so I can't imagine, you know, you were sitting about playing dominoes. Um, um, Cora being in plan, uh, how come I haven't seen Lillian at the Rock here? She's one of their top rangers, so they keep her in the field a lot. Uh. That's how she likes it. Okay. Um, yeah, you do seem to have taken to it rather well. It I wasn't suppose. always like it is now. Hell, when Cora was born, I was completely out of my depth. For the first few months, I kept thinking, what a colossal mistake I made. Me, a father. But one late night, early morning, whatever, little Cora gave me my first smile. And I knew I'd do anything for that girl. Well, yeah, all right. Um, I can't imagine having kids. Where was Lillian during all this, actually? Well, Mrs. Lillian Coe was right there with me. As bad as I had it with nursing at all hours, I know I had it comparatively easy. But that don't mean those first few months were good by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, I can't imagine having kids. People say it changes everything. And it does. 
And no matter how much you think you are prepared. <laughs> There's something you said to me. About parents wanting children to learn from their mistakes. Now that Cora's getting older, that's... That's what haunts me. I've, uh... I've done things I'm not proud of. I <laughs> said things even worse. I try to be better for Cora, but... Is she gonna fall into the same traps? Uh, I don't know. Um... Uh... Yeah, you've given her a solid foundation, I suppose. That's really reassuring. I do the best I can by her. That's all right. I know it seems crazy, towing her across the stars, but I'm not exactly swimming with options here. I'll leave her here. Her mother... She'll be fine. Like I said, another story another time. And what, have her raised by Jacob, my dad? I'd sooner ship her off to Vladimir. Who is Vladimir? Oh! Of course, Vladimir. Yeah, I mean... She is. She's Consolation, being here is probably the safest bet. You think? Yeah. Well, she does say the damnedest things. There's worse if she just to learned grow. to pick up after herself, she just might live until she's 13. What did you want to talk about? I didn't. Well, Sam, hello? Are we going to do this or of what? all the places in the galaxy, only Neon can make me feel so damn... oily. And you dealt with this absolute worst. Ryujin, Infinity LTD, all of it. Good God. You doing all right? That was a lot. Yes, it's all fine. Let's just get on with it, shall we? Eh. Uh, all the corporate intrigue was kind of exciting. It was. But you don't need to worry about me. Of course you are. And you're tougher than me. Well, yeah. Uh, how come no matter how advanced society gets... We still just can't help coming up with new horrors to inflict on ourselves. Well... Mechs, Xeno Warfare, and now this Neuroamp tech. I swear, it's the worst yet. Thank God you put a stop to it. Well... Yeah... No good would have come from the Neuroamps, I don't Amen think. Amen to that. Yeah. With a piece of work like Ryujin, I know there isn't a good person to put in charge. I mean, I guess Masako's better than Lauru Chen. Definitely. But you just know if violence or being just plain evil was the path of least resistance, then Masako would pick it same as Lauru. She might do. I don't know. Yeah. She's capable. And how on earth is that a good thing? Well, the whole damned affair is over. Thank God. Good. Uh, when the time's right... I'd appreciate a chat. Jiminy Christmas. The whole Terramorph situation, seriously, hats off to you. Right, right, When Chill I was out. growing up, everyone was afraid of Terramorphs. How they could seemingly strike anywhere at any time. The carnage, the destruction. Yeah. The stuff you've done here could save so many lives. Yeah, well. Uh, they were one of the gravest threats to humanity, that's Given true. time, that'll be past tense. Yeah. Because of you. Well, that's nice. I don't know about these Asilis. That micro would wipe out the Terramorphs for good and certain. I mean, the Asilis? It'll take longer, take more hand-holding, and there's no saying the Asilis will fully get the job done. Oh, don't no, worry. for all our sake, you made the right call. I think I did. Microbes mutate. I couldn't take the chance it becomes a new, bigger problem. That's true. <sighs> when you put it like that, I guess I see your point. God, why am I doubting myself? Hell, everyone and everywhere owes you big time. Yeah, well. Even if they don't know it. Well. I've uh, got some stuff on my mind. When you have the time. <sighs> Is this man ever gonna just sort out this quest thing? So we know the answer. Who are the Starborn? This might be it. Well, we are. We're some cracked mirror version of ourselves. Yep. The whole thing seems unreal. Mm hmm Um... It's a lot to process. No argument here. I was hoping the Starborn were somehow so advanced that their concerns were... cosmic? Significant? Instead, they're fighting over goddamn toys like we've been doing since caveman times. Yeah. It's just a stupid game to them. And all their deaths and suffering... not relevant. No. Um...
their motivations do appear to be well human and that's very true and they seem to be just as messed up as the rest of us yep that's what makes them human so the unity is a gateway yep a gateway to countless possibilities yep and you have a chance to go through it i do imagine i'd be lying if it doesn't sound like the adventure of a lifetime oh you ain't coming i don't know with if you're you. taking anyone with you but if you take me i got no idea if i'd go through or not if it weren't for Cora, I'd jump on it in a heartbeat. Cora would probably shove both of us out of the way and dive in first. Born explorer, that girl. Dude, if I'm gonna take anybody, I'm gonna take Andreja. The good lady. Good grief. Um. <sighs> An opportunity like this is why Constellation was founded. Pure exploration. Exactly, right? I know it's your decision who to work with. But you gotta remember that the hunter murdered our friend. I'm not working with either of them. Sure, the emissary may be a version of Barrett. Mm -hmm. But he's not our Barrett. Nope. But that doesn't make what the hunter did right. Not by a long shot. Nope. If the Starborn are party crashers from different universes, I'd side with the one that's not willing to murder innocents to win. True. Um. Yeah, I don't like either of them. Me neither. There's the truth. My head is still spinning. Maybe after a few nights sleep it'll be clear. Alright. Take care. Are you happy now? So, so can we... I must confess, the hum of a grav drive makes me feel alive. Take it easy. Alright, Andreja, my dear. It is pleasing to speak with you. Um... Are you gonna stay you here? You will be lost without me, but... As you wish. No problem, my dear. You, you, you stay here where it's safe. What's up? I will come and get you eventually. Man, the galaxy's too big to be stuck in the same place. All right. It's about time. I miss the company. Don't miss my company, dude. Right. I'm just going to uh, offload some stuff in my room. Hopefully, Andre will be okay. Plus, she gets to have a little break, doesn't she? Which must be nice. You know, exploring the galaxy all this time. It's a lot, isn't it? It's a lot. Okay. Okay, that's uh, lighten the load slightly. All right, Sam, chill out, mate. Okay, let's just have a look at this thing. I've um, switched out my Orion for this one because this is better, apparently. It doesn't have as big a mag, but you know what? That's fine. We can, we can, we can live with that. I can live with that. Oh, oh, thought was something there. All right, Sam. So you have some kind of quest, obviously. What the hell? What? With Crix's legacy, I thought for sure you were going to turn it over to Sis Death. Oh. Instead. Delivering an insane fortune to the Crimson Fleet? Why'd you help them? Um, I don't have to explain myself to you. So that's how it's going to be? Yes. With all those damn credits, the fleet is going to be a literal plague for years. Hell, decades. Anyone that travels space is going to be in danger. That includes people like Sarah, Barrett, the whole gang. Well, Barrett's you know, dead. Our people. Did you even think about that? I've said everything I'm going to say about that. Yeah, about this, yeah? I have. So you're just washing your hands of this? Not that damned easy. Samuel! I've done things I'm not proud of, but I've never, never done anything like this. Till now. I, I just can't stand to look at you right now. Any day you make it through is a victory in my book. And yet there you go. He's perfectly happy. Good God. Okay, so so what's the script? Talking what? about me is my favorite subject. A kid. Oh God! Come on. What do you think There's of exploration? There's so many planets, moons, celestial phenomena out there. Most captains just sail through the great black, not even really looking, appreciating. A lot of the time, touching down on a virgin planet can be, well, uneventful. Mm -hmm. But every now and then. You see something no human has ever laid eyes on. True. That is what I live for. Do you no, know what? That. Let's 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 just let's we'll 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 get on with it. Okay. There is actually a scientist here in Got old new Atlantis. So let's go and have a little chat with him, I think. And see what the script is with this uh something to do with the tree, wasn't it? 
So oh yeah, there you go. Jolly good. Alright. Let's see what he wants. Seeing as Samuel isn't going to um, tell us what he wants to do, so never mind. Alright. Ah, there we go. The scientist by the tree. Hey dude! Kelton Frush. Hello? I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Uh, is something wrong? You sound concerned, yeah. Yes. Concerned is an understatement. All right. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Okay. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Is this a trick question, or some sort of Zen riddle? Some people aren't capable of understanding how vitally important botany is. Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit well, help okay. from random passers-by, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Eh, uh, yeah, sure. I'd love to help. Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah, there's a series of biosensors <clears throat> I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. Okay. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. All right. Well, let's get these biosensors then. Cool. See? That tree's as big as the rock. I can be nice. I'm not awful. Sometimes. Okay, so over here. We really should explore outside the walls of New Atlantis, you know. So this thing. Uh, okay. Awesome. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm in the tree. So one up here, but we... What? Whatever. Whatever! I think this is where our apartment is, isn't it? Maybe. Centur Centurion Arsenal. Or would it be Centurion? I think it is Centurion, isn't it? Nice day for a picnic. It is a lovely day for a picnic, but we're not here for a picnic. We're here to pick up biosensors. One here in the tree. Okay. One more to get, and then we are done, folks. We can return to Mr. Scientist and um, give him the info. Whether it will be useful, I don't know. Ah, lovely. All right. Valberg. What's Valberg? Some kind of store. Aren't something? you the one I saw running away from that crazy guy? Yeah. What's 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 Valberg? Curiosity and all that jazz, you know. What 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 is it? Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, just yeah. We'll just yeah. We'll come back. I think we were supposed to go and see them, weren't we? I can't remember. Ugh, we've got so many things on the go. It's ridiculous. Hey there. Oh, why is there a child? Hey, are you looking for eggs too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Eggs. Uh, The egg you found wasn't beeping, was it? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she uh. said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. Well, oh, good lord. Honestly. Honestly. Ridiculous. Alright. Well, maybe we can sell us some of our goods anyway. So it might not be uh, a total waste of time. Hopefully we won't get sent here, there, and bloody everywhere for these things. Good grief. You see distribution. Oh. Uh... Hello. Please, if you experience any issues in your dealings with the distribution center, let us know. We're always striving to improve. Cool. All right. Welcome to UC Distribution. 
Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. That's fine. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Huh. You bought an egg from a kid recently. In fact, let's, let's just see if she's well, got it. Well, certainly. Not in the inventory, okay. Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? Um, it's sensitive scientific equipment. Very important. Oh, really? Yes. Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? Fine. Hundred credits. Pleasure take it. Pleasure doing business with Jeez. you. All right. You're always welcome back. If you don't mind a bit of a wait. A bit of a wait. Good lord. I mean, in all fairness, she could have demanded more. And I potentially... Why? Sorry, would have given it to her, but... Well, I don't know. I don't know. They were gonna I do enjoy New Atlantis. It is a lovely place. But, well, we, we have to be on our merry way. What's, what's, what's this? Oh, a light. There is a light that never goes out, of course. All right. Oof. Go and give this dude his sensors, and then that's another job done. Not really what we're wanting to do. I want Sam to tell me where he wants to go to solve his problem, because I know he'll have one. Maybe we should go back to Aquila City, because I know we had a few jobs to do there. Hey, dude! If it Here isn't my favourite almost a lab assistant, yeah. what can I do for you? I don't mean to be pushy, but I really do need those sensors. Well, there's your so sensors. So you do. Wonderful. All right. I'll just take these, and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right. All right. We'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. Okay. This is nice. Pretty. And just another moment. <sighs> All right, dude. Come on, Sam. Don't be so lazy. Oh. It is working, isn't it? What? Ah, there it is. Relief. Now, let's see. This is... Mm, well, it, it's... Oh, my. Oh, dear. Doesn't sound good. Okay, oh, so... It seems my concerns were valid all along. Well, there's good news and bad news. All right. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. And the bad news? I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Don't be smug. Um, that doesn't sound like good news. Well, from a certain point of view. In an admittedly somewhat selfish manner. Mm. The bad news, as it were, is that... The internal composition of the tree is changing. Okay. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. Okay. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. Yeah. All right. Well, so this this tree is oh, like making sound that we can't hear. Check in on Kelton later. All right. Well, I think we'll head to Aquila, you know, and um, see what see what's occurring there. So let's let's get over there. And here we are, back in Aquila City, where all is bright and very dry and dusty. Samuel? What What are you doing? Sam? Are you... Sam? What are you... Sam? Alright. Okay. 
He's happy. We're back here in Aguila, I think. Uh, I think that should be fine. Okay, so let's have a look. I know we have to... Um... Let's have a look. I know we have to... Speak to... The Laredo Arms Factory one. Apprehend the Laredo Arms Thief at night. Yes, that was one, wasn't it? What's Charity of the Wolf? The Low House. I think that's here as well, isn't it? Okay, let's 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 take a peep. See what we can do. Yep, it's here in Aquila. I thought it was. We might as well. Intervene, see what we can do. Might be worth a shout. Excuse me. Yep. You're looking for a sidearm. Aquila City. Feels like I spent half my life trying to get out of this place. Well, you're here again, Sam. So guess what? We're staying here, mate, for a bit. Oh, we're so A DP. I. Hmm. I. I don't want to know. Okay, so which is the low house? Sinclair's books. Books. Ooh, I do like a book. I'm a book fan. Big reader. I've been thinking lately. I'd really like to learn something new, but I don't know what I want to learn. Is that weird? Maybe. All right. Where's this woman? Leo. Leo. Running the low house is tough, but those times when we make a real difference, it makes it all worth it. Cool. All right. We got a moment to hear about the low house? Yeah. Go on. It mean a lot to me and to others. Yeah. Go for it. Sure, can spare a minute. Good to know there's still some folks who can take an interest in the welfare of others. Yeah. The Low House is a place where folks down on their luck can get a hot meal and a bed to sleep in. More importantly, they can do it with some dignity. No need to beg or steal. Everything's given with no questions asked and no favors owed. I run the place. Have for years. But to do it, I have to rely on the kindness of others. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, I was like, you did some good work. To, anyway. Look, I'll be honest with you. We get a little help from some other wealthier folks in the city. But it's barely enough. It takes credit to provide for those in need. And I'm hoping you'll be willing to contribute. If you can spare a few credits, it'll do a lot of good. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, yeah. Thank you. I don't know if you believe in karma, but I do. I think you just end yourself some. Alright. Oh, Sam Co loved it. You loved that, did you? Bloody hell. Alright. So, okay, it's still showing we can spit. Do we just... Hello? Can we... Hello? You want to do some good for the city? Let me know. Yeah. If you're serious... I'm drowning in work. Then... Philborn Agriculture Systems feeds basically everyone in the stretch. Okay. Bless the Philborn brothers. But their latest IntelliWeed shipment is late. I'm not worried yet, but getting there. All right. Could you ask Sarah Philborn what the holdup is, very politely? Yeah. Um, sounds important. I'll go talk to her. This is a huge help. If there's anything you can do to speed up the wheat delivery, please do it. I'll have more work for you when you get back. All right. Aha. Right. Okay. So we need to go and speak to Sarah, who is round here somewhere. Come on, Sam. We're we're maybe we're trying to make up for our um, crimson fleet. Crimson fleet. Um, alliance, allegiance, choice. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> okay. So, oh my god, where is this woman? She's bloody miles away. Are they outside the city? I bet they're outside the city, aren't they? God bless it, Barbie. God bless it! Suspect has been at Laredo oh god, that kid's still on about bloody Laredo. Alright, she's down here. Whoop. Although we will do that job, you know. We will find out well, what's call. been going on. One more drop in disorderly. Alright. Random. Very random. Hello! Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. 
It's true. My husband runs one of the most successful businesses in the Freestar Collective. But I still think we can do better. All right. If you're here for Weston, he's underfoot somewhere. Either here or at the factory. But please, if it's about that brewing nonsense, kindly leave. They don't need any more encouragement. Brewing? Um. This is a strange way to say hello. Oh, sorry. My nerves are frayed. So many people coming and going for the company. Mm -hmm. Weston, that's my husband. Well, he's never been what I'd call a dreamer or a visionary. He's a practical man, good with ledgers and numbers. Mm -hmm. His brother Henry's the creative one, but he seems to have lost interest in growing the company. And now all he wants to do is brew beer. Philburn Agricultural Systems could provide the whole of the settled systems with food, not just Aquila City. Seems those two are content to think small. I see your point. Yeah, they could be saving some lives. Yeah. Well, I wish you were the one I had to convince. Mm. Well, you didn't come here to hear me natter on. Anything else? Uh. Uh, Amira Wolf at the Low House sent me about the IntelliWeat shipment. Yeah. I know. We're late. It's been this whole frustrating episode. Short version, the farming equipment outside the walls needs to be manually rebooted. But the guards aren't going to be able to send people to fix it for days. We're committed to helping the unfortunates on the stretch. But the Ashta are just too dangerous for us to send someone. Uh, the shipment is urgent. If it's a simple reboot, I can do that, yeah. You would do that? Yeah. If you get it's it easy. rebooted, I'll get the harvest going ASAP. We can get the weed to Amira quick. I'll talk with my husband, but I'm sure we could arrange payment. You'd be helping our business too, after all. Just, just be careful. Ashta are very dangerous. Eh. They're not that dangerous. We've dealt with them before. I'm guessing that they're maybe having some kind of issues, though. Like, they're obsessed with brewing beer. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like I like a drink. I'm not much of a beer drinker. I do like, um, I like a gin. But I can, um, I can understand. Wow, they really do have a little teeny house. It's a nice little house, though. I like it. It's cute. All right, Sam. Well, do you know what, folks? We are going to leave it there this time. Next time we will head out and we will reset these machines so that we can get the wheat to the people who need it so until next time be safe be good look after yourselves